Today we're going to talk about the Ten Commandments of Homework. First, the Ten Commandments of Homework are made up from Mrs. Rasmussen, Snickwad's teacher, or Sam's teacher. Homework is an essential part of learning. Of course it is, but not doing your homework because of you, you don't believe in homework is self-defending for you. Keep track of your daily assignments. The more you review information, the easier it is to remember, and no longer you're able to retain it. Even though you may not have been, not be able to written work to do always as you review your assignments. Have a place to study that works for you. One that is it is your responsibility to find out what you have missed when you are absent. absent. Take initiative to ask a classmate or teacher what you need to make up. Um, have a place uh, to study that works for you. One is that's free from distractions. Be honest with yourself and how you will study when the TV or stereo is playing. I think you should be able to play this stereo because if you're concentrating on your homework, you won't really hear it. But if you are hearing it and it sounds good to you, or if you're like chewing gum or something and it makes you think better, you should be able to do that. So I disagree with um, Miss Rasmussen and number six of the Ten Commandments of Homework. Make sure you have everything before you begin to work. I mean, if you forget like your pen, pencil or something, that's kind of a dumb mistake on your part. But you, you, if you forget like one thing at school, that's bad. But if you have it at your house, that's kind of okay. You, you develop a schedule you can follow. I don't really have a schedule for mine, so do you, Kevin? Chingo, do you? Like, no. You really need one. Prioritize your homework so that you prioritize your homework so that you begin with the most important assignment first. For instance, study it for a test, then the assignment. I, I I agree with her right there, but um if it's just like a regular math homework, it doesn't really matter what you do first. But if it's like a, a test, right? You should definitely study first because that's the more important, right, you know? Well, I disagree on the homework, not too much, but just the little is fine. Like, making it too long is bad, but I would think too much homework is bad for Yeah, like, our teacher, Mr. Shaw, says that we only need 15 minutes of homework a day, right, guys? What? I thought it was 50, not 15. Yeah, 50, that's what it is. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, now um, we'll tell you Sikwada uh, Sam, or Dawkins Sam, Sam Dawkins, Ten Commandments of Hope. We live in democracy. Democracy. Oh. Are we have freedom, right? Yeah, I, 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 oh, sorry. Uh, Calvin, I agree. Um, so how can I pursue happiness if I have to spend every night doing homework? Homework. Homework in the school. Total, total erasure punishment created by grown ups to take away the freedom of poor children. Guys, um, I, I think that technically you can't be free. Uh, the freedom in the United States is, doesn't start until um, you're 18, but he sh he's. Well, if, when you're t totally a parent or a person or an adult is when you're free to go, you know? Because if you're a kid, you're under your parents' decisions, right? Right, good? Yep. And, um... I don't... I think that homework does take up a lot of time. Yeah, because, like, if you have sports, you should get out and exercise. Like, um, I know some ads for football, they say play 60, and play 60 means you should be exercising 60 minutes a day, every day, right, Chingo, you know, don't yeah. you play football? 60 minutes, and you'll be home. Yeah, because if you you're, you get bigger, and then it's harder to move around and stuff, so yeah. Sometimes I think homework takes up a lot, way too much time. Yeah, if you're trying to figure something out, you should just skip it, and tell your teacher that it took you much, too much time, you didn't want to figure it out. Um, nobody, read this, Chan. Nobody ever saved a life, won a war, stopped a crime, or cured a disease. While, while they were doing homework, think of all the good things we could be doing.
while homework. So that's why we shouldn't be spending more time because we have other things to do that are important too. Um, like, like many smart people that were in a lot or back then didn't have homework, right? You guys, like Albert Einstein. Get in your video. Um. Uh, it it does take up a lot of time in your life, and you shouldn't be like using all your time in your life to just do one piece of homework. I think you should be studying during the day in class doing it, right? Yeah, I agree because homework is just torture. <laughs> all right. Um, doing homework causes eye strain, fag you, in, in the, and other physical. Things. I think right here, Sam's just trying to be nice. That, sorry about that, guys. Yes, sorry about that noise. Thomas said it's in one of for four months. He never did any homework. Look how he did it. One of the smartest people. I think that's in eight and a half years since the game, if I remember. I don't... I think he's, that's just another excuse not to do that. Yeah, because homework is just... They didn't even have paper back then, really. They just had keypads, whatever it's called. I don't even know what it's called. There is a name for working without getting paid. It's called slave. Okay, this is your schooling over hand now, guys, right? Yeah. And, oh, and... Slavery was banned during the Civil War, and I think homework should be banned because it's not slavery, though. It's not telling you, do your homework, you know? There are some people that don't even do their homework, but they're supposed to, you know? It, it makes you a smarter person, you know, in life. But homework sometimes should be given, but not too much. Doing homework plays valuable resources. We have we use lots of energy to cut to keep all those white bulbs burning. But and we still have to cut down a lot of more trees just to have homework. Yeah, that is true, but um you save a lot of energy banning homework. You can use homework on different resources than just paper. I think teachers might have to use that later in life if when you get older I, the, there might be less paper, right? Maybe you could write, use paper for a test or something, you know, but, yeah. Um, maybe you could do homework on touch pads. Yeah. But those are still bad for the environment. I, I keep hearing that American kids are getting too fat. That's because of homework. Because they're not getting enough exercise. That's like we said earlier, right? So, every minute kids are doing homework, and they should be get running around outside and getting exercise. And inside doing worksheets. Yeah, that's, that's a great, great on my part, All right, Calvin, do you agree with that? Because you should maybe do a little homework or something, you know? Yeah. Um, virtually every moon murder, bank robber, and criminal did homework when they were children. This is kind of getting over me in a little And then the last is homework sucks. So, um, thanks, and this was the book called Homework Machine, and hope you enjoyed. Bye.